Researchers around the globe are focused on finding a safe and effective coronavirus vaccine, but that's just the first challenge. Actually getting that vaccine then to the majority of the world's population, that will be a massive feat. Dr. Frank McGeorge here with a look at the, a closer look at the preparations that are already underway ahead of having the virus in hand or the, uh, the vaccine in hand, Doc. Yeah, Devin, you know, I know we have used the word unprecedented a lot this year, but it truly is. Millions of doses of the top vaccine candidates are already being produced. If the vaccines don't work, they will be thrown out. But if they do, those doses will be the first shipped around the globe. Once a vaccine is approved, then what? We have to go from there to actually having billions of doses of vaccine uh, that can be delivered to people around the world. Governments have committed billions of dollars to vaccine makers. The U.S. alone has ordered 900 million doses. Pfizer, in partnership with BioNTech, plans to make 100 million doses of its vaccine by the end of the year. Well, it is absolutely not normal. It's unprecedented. To try and meet that demand, Pfizer has set up separate manufacturing in the U.S. and Europe. The competition is, is not each other, right? It really is working against the virus. Meanwhile, companies like UPS are preparing to be ready to pick up, store, and deliver the vaccine. We don't know who's going to be first. We know uh, that Pfizer, Moderna, AstraZeneca with Oxford University. We know that CanSino in China uh, is, is doing well. We know that Novavax is moving fast. Different types of vaccine need different transport and storage conditions. One of the biggest challenges is temperature. A few months ago when we started to get good information about what temperatures would be required for these vaccines, we made a, uh, an investment in freezer farm technology. So we have invested in both the U.S. Uh, and uh, in Roermond in the Netherlands. It's one of our hubs near our Cologne air hub in Germany. They've also put freezers in several of their depots around the world. Security is critical. UPS plans to have 24-7 tracking for every single vial. We are taking very seriously the fact that our clients are counting us on us to move every single vial and not lose a single one. Now, you may remember back in 2009 during the H1N1 outbreak, local health departments held huge mass vaccination events where people waited in lines for hours on ends to get the vaccine. Now, obviously, that is not what we want people doing with this virus. So that will create another challenge of how we actually give these vaccines once we have them. Back to you. Yeah, no doubt. All right, Frank.